from a major skincare brand asked me to host this event with them. Shut up! Hey what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali if you guys are new here and today is event day. I am so excited to see everything. The event starts at 6 but I think I'm gonna get there around like 5 15, 5 30 to start taking a lot of content and um just to like be there early just in case my guests show up early which honestly I'm kind of banking on them showing up like 30 minutes late because I feel like 6 is pretty early but I know my friends and they're always like 30-ish minutes late so I mean I know I would be whenever I go to one of these events I always try to get there at least 30 minutes after the time starts unless it's like a sit down dinner which this is but I decided to have like an hour of like mingling and talking and taking pictures so that's why it's starting so early but i told you guys in the last vlog a major skincare brand asked me to host this event with them and the brand is sunday riley my sister actually introduced me to this brand in college i think because of this product right here this is the ceo glow it's a face oil but i went into sephora when she was like you have to get it blah blah, blah. I asked the lady and she was like, no, I think this would be actually be better for your skin. So I actually use this at night. Every time I use it, I wake up like, like my skin is honestly so good the next day. I put it on last night. It is blue, but it like, you know, kind of like dissolves into your face. So, but this morning I'm going to be using the CEO Glow. This whole time I was talking to one of the girls that works for Sydney Riley and her name is G and she asked me to like pick a product to like kind of like showcase at this event. So I kind of had like the idea for like a dinner party, flowers everywhere, just like almost like an end of summer garden party. That's what we're calling it, a garden party. So based on all of our inspo, we decided to pick this product right here. This is the pink drink. It is a firming resurfacing essence. So you can just like spray it on. This little guy is the star of the show. Um, but first, I wanted to get my nails done. I've been waiting for a while because I just have regular no polish on and they're definitely starting to chip so we're gonna go get our nails done and then i definitely want to edit a good bit today um if you guys saw my last vlog ryan's actually in town so he is gonna be able to come to the event and that'll be really nice because he like knows my angles with photos and he's gonna help me out with like filming like a bunch of tiktok content i was in south austin for an errand so i decided to try out a new nail salon i just put nail salon in my yelp search and one that came up was called opi nail salon i was like honestly that's perfect because every time i go to a nail salon i'm just like hoping that they have all of the opi colors so i'm really hoping this isn't like a scam <laughs> What if I walk in and they have literally no OPI colors? Like that would be tragic. But I think I'm just gonna go for another like pale pink situation. Like I really like this color. It's more like white pink, but I think I want a little bit pinker because I really think I'm leaning towards the pink dress that I showed in my last vlog. So I feel like it would be perfect to have pink nails because literally the whole theme of tonight is like pink. Like I said, we're showcasing the pink drink product. I'm home and this is the color I got. Like I said, it's like literally just a tad bit more pink. Um, but I am actually cooking with my um, Caraway mini pan for the first time. And it's actually perfect for eggs because I never like cooking in like big pans when the thing only takes up this much. This is like literally perfect. Um, and I did a size comparison if you guys are like actually interested in purchasing caraway pants. I did a size comparison between the mini pants and the regular pants in my last vlog, so definitely go check that out. But I will also put a code in the description um, if you guys want a little discount. I believe it's 10% off, but I also have some leftover prosciutto from um, having a bachelor finale at my house this week. So I think I'm gonna do a little fig and prosciutto toast with eggs. That sounds so good. Salami treat. Uh, 
I was editing a vlog, but then my computer died on me. <laughs> I usually always have my computer plugged in, but I was like working on the couch, so I just plugged it in. I'm gonna let it charge for a bit because sometimes like when it's like not at its fullest potential, editing is so annoying because it's so laggy and like literally the computer cannot keep up with my hands <laughs> so we're just gonna wait to edit the vlog but i'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair so that the curls fall nicely later today but this is the bombay five in one i just used the biggest barrel but like look you can like lock it but it's like locked and it's so wiggly it doesn't fall out but like it is so janky and i'm actually so excited because i've been meaning to get like another curler like this like a wand curler i have like a couple of like clamp curlers but i think this might be like my go-to just because it holds the curls a little bit better the clamp ones are more for like beachy waves and i'd like to do those but i would say this is definitely my go-to the one I do majority of the time. I actually just got a brand deal for a curling wand for beach wavers. Super freaking excited to try that out. I think that one has like three like separate wands. So very excited for that because this curler has been janky for a very long time. I'm kind of surprised it's lasted this long. Before I brush my hair, I'm gonna spray some thermal protectant. I got this in a PR package and I've been using it a lot recently for the past like couple months I would say. Um, this is the Color Fresh Thermal Protection Spray by DP Hue. I first heard about this brand on Very Cavalier, which honestly I'm still upset that they canceled the show, but I guess it's probably for the better because Kristen broke up with Jay Cutler and all of that stuff. I used to watch Lagoon Beach too, so I was like super intrigued by it. And then I was like, oh my god, I have to get stuff from Uncommon James. Like we went to Nashville like right as the show was kind of airing and becoming popular. So we went into the store and it was really cool. But anyways, I um, first heard about DPQ because one of Kristen Cavallari's best friends is Justin Anderson and he owns the company. So that is where I heard about that also. The brown is seeping back through. One thing they don't tell you about going back to your natural hair color after you have bleached it is that you still have to freaking go get it done every so often. And that is literally the reason why I dyed my hair back to black because I didn't want to ever like go to the salon. It just takes so much time when you get it even just toned. And I'm just like, I just need to be done with my hair and let it do its own thing, but as you can see, the brown is coming back, so I need to go get it toned again. And also, I probably should get like a haircut. I, growing up, I never would get haircuts, literally like every year, if that. But my hairstylist, my friend Mariana, she's actually coming to the event tonight. She's also like an influencer here in Austin, but she does my hair and she specializes, I, I'm pretty sure, in like uh, brunette balayages, but she also does like lighter bowl, I was just, anyways, she was like, you need to trim your hair because that's how it's gonna grow. And she really sold me on it. So now I really do need to make an appointment with her so I can get this hair fixed. Ryan took a video of me from the back the other day and my hair just looked, like it looked really long, but kind of almost like straggly. I'm like, no, I need it to be thick. I'm also seeing some TikToks saying that like, people have done like a lot of like oils in their hair to get the ends thicker too. And I think I might try that. Like I actually wanna do more research about that because whenever my hair does get long, it is just so thin on the ends of my hair. But I like wanna make it thick all around, you know? So gotta do some research and I'll, I'll report back. I do get a lot of questions on how I curl my hair. So literally you just wrap the piece of hair on the rod but it needs to be away from your face. So the hair should start in front of the curling rod. And then, I don't know, it depends on the day. If I want it to be like a little bit more beachy and just like a little bit more effortless, I hold it on less. But today I'm going to hold it on a little bit longer just cause the event is later tonight and I want them to fall. And I don't want it to be like stick straight when I get there, which never really happens to my hair, but you know what I mean. I'm also worried that like tonight it's gonna be really hot because it is like an outdoor venue mostly. I think the dinner is going to be outdoors, but there's like a bar indoors. 
because it's open bar. So I'm just hoping we don't all like die of heat exhaustion out there. I mean, I think like the courtyard is a more shaded area. So I'm hoping that like the shade is going to do us some good. But I literally just checked the weather and like when I was out getting my nails done, it was 91 and it was super hot. And at 7 p.m. it's gonna be 95. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> dang it. But I think today is like officially the first day of fall. I saw that online somewhere. I didn't fact check it. So I'm not really sure if that's true. I literally just told Ryan that we need to do or make a fall bucket list. I also bought the pre-sale tickets for House of Torment, which is a haunted house here in Austin. We went last year and like, it was good, but I think there should have been more actors throughout the house. But I wanna go back this year because I love haunted houses. It just gets the adrenaline rushing. And honestly, when I go back to Georgia, I wanna to go to Netherworld, yeah. Netherworld is so good, but it's like only two houses, I believe. One's like bigger, one's smaller. And my mom said that they changed the locations and it's actually closer to her house this time. So I definitely want to do that when I go back to uh, Georgia. And I'm going back in October, which I really never do. I only go back usually during Thanksgiving and the leaves are already on the ground. Like they have fallen off the trees by then. So I'm excited to see it during October. I feel like that's like peak like beautiful leaves on trees. So that'll be really fun and hopefully we can cross some fall bucket list items off our list there. Here's what the curls look like immediately after. So as you can tell, they're pretty curly, but I'm just telling you guys they're gonna fall and they're gonna look good. It's currently 1.48 and I want to be at the venue by like 5.30 latest, because I want to try to take like content and pictures before all my friends come. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, it's so curly. I better fall. <laughs> Currently getting ready while like reviewing my YouTube video that I want to post like before I leave. I really hope I can get it up for you guys. Um, but it is 4.11 and I want to leave here by 5.10. So I have a full hour, which is good because I want to like take out Sophie and Make sure she's all good and then I need to remember to bring my tripod and then like all my camera stuff because I want Ryan to like film like a bunch of b-roll. He is going to be a big help today, which is really nice that he's here for this event. Honestly, just kind of worked out that way. <laughs> I'm really excited to see all my friends in like one place. Also, I don't know why I'm just now realizing, but I'm also going to get one of my favorite foods in Austin. We're going to Elizabeth Street Cafe. That's where the event is gonna be held. It's like in their croissant room. So they're like private event room. My favorite thing is the steamed rice rolls or something like that. Oh, they are so good. Usually at influencer events, they have like little finger hand bites. What, what are they called? Why do you call them finger bites? That's not what they're called. <laughs> finger bites, maybe. <laughs> finger foods, there we go. Um, yeah, they always have those little things, but I'm always busy talking to like my friends and I don't want to like shove food in my mouth while I'm talking. But since this is more of like a dinner situation, I hope that I'll be able to eat. So if you guys are in Austin, definitely try Elizabeth Street Cafe. Their happy hour is so good. It literally is so affordable and cheap. So honestly, whenever I do go to Elizabeth Street Cafe, I try to go to the happy hour. So I want to add false lashes. I asked Ryan to go get the packages though, because I ordered it on Amazon and I'm pretty sure they got here last night. And I just purchased the false lashes that are only on the ends. So it's kind of like a half falsy. So I put mascara on. Hopefully it, it's okay that I did that. Like I don't, I don't think you do it after. I'm not really sure. I've never done it before. Um, well, like the half ones. But I hope they give me a little something something. I also bought like just the wispies from Ardell too, just in case. I didn't like the half ones, but Ryan literally just walked through the door. But this is what they look like, the half false lashes. So I'm gonna take the glue and then I'm just gonna put it on this thing. Hopefully these are easier to apply than just normal lashes. 
I love false lashes, but like whenever I start wearing them, it's so hard to stop because they just always look so good. So I don't want to get addicted and like only think that I look good with false lashes on, you know? Here's the before. My lashes are honestly pretty long without false lashes, but I'm going to put them on and we'll see what it looks after. All right, here's after. I feel like they look a little fuller on the ends, but not by much. And they kind of like weighed my real lashes down. So I feel like they're not like as up. I don't know. I also forgot to put on eyeliner. Oopsies. Okay, I'm all ready, and I put on these earrings that I, I'm also renting on Fashion Pass. Surprisingly, they had a lot of floral jewelry, which I thought was kind of random, but also perfect. Here's the dress. It's from Amanda Uprichard, renting out on Fashion Pass. I will put my discount code on the screen. You can get $30 off, but definitely go to my last vlog to see my brutally honest review of Fashion Pass, because I definitely have my thoughts. And I'm also wearing these um uh, steve madden purple shoes i just feel like they're not really gonna show and they're gonna be like more comfortable because they're a shorter heel i'm gonna pack a bag full of my camera equipment tripod all that and then we're gonna head to the venue all right give us the otd you got some squeaky ass boots wait you look really cute <laughs> um well, for real these are in my closet they're like dl 1941 or something what brand is that uh, they're at Nordstrom Rack. Uh -oh. They're like 200 bucks, and they're going for like 60. Nice. Uh, they're a little tight, so. Ryan um, loves the deal. Yeah, I got some fried boots, a Target shirt. That he just bought. We're ready to go. Got my tripod, all my lenses. Um, this is gonna be my purse. It's not that cute, but I don't think I'm gonna be like actually holding a purse so I can hide it. My phone's charging. G just sent me some photos. I, I want her to stop though, because I want to see it all in person. Okay, let's get going. to Elizabeth Street Cafe and we're about to head in. I'm so excited but kind of kind of getting nervous now. It's 5 33 and the event starts at 6. I wonder how like early or slash late people will actually show up. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> when, I, when I put this on my face at night, I wake up with the most beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. So like, highly 
recommend the Luna oil. So it's actually a blue oil. It has chamomile in it and it's also a retinol oil, but because of the chamomile, it is able to be like a retinol oil that's very gentle on your skin. So it's great for people who are new to retinol or honestly, like a lot of people mix it with their retinol product. Um, and it's just like a good add-on and everyone says, like like Sonali said, like everyone wakes up feeling like a brand new person. So like good. so moisturized, so plump, like brand new yeah. skin. Or like what inspired the yeah. event? Yeah, yeah, not even like, because the other two are like products Sonali actually uses like every day. Yes. This one is just like a fun, like one inspired the entire. Yes, because <laughs> everything is like pink. You saw the cakes, you see the yes. candles, everything's pink. So anyways, take it away. <laughs> yeah, so Pink Drink is our microbiome like amazing spray it literally feels so good i might think everyone no, like literally i was thinking spray it. i was thinking i was like that would be like a really good like like it's so refreshing yeah <laughs> but i put it on before i put anything on my face and also like throughout the day if i'm feeling really sweaty or like my skin's feeling tired i'll just like spritz my face and i feel awake i also yeah. always spritz my husband's face when he wakes up and he like immediately wakes right. up it's like literally <laughs> the best thing ever and it's pink it's like the cutest product we have it so. is cute it's yeah. cute um okay and I feel like this one is probably the most well known for Sunday Riley. Isn't yes, it? this. So actually, I would say this, Good Jeans and Luna. Oh, Good Jeans. Um, yeah. But yeah, honestly, these two products are like, like that one's the number one. Luna's number one oil in the U.S. But CEO Serum is like our like hero product for vitamin C. So right. like, we recommend everyone use this. It uh -huh. is like it has so many benefits, like vitamin C in general. But uh -huh. we call it. Actually, I learned this from like our Sephora team. Yeah. But they call it the BLT, brightens, lightens, and tightens. Um, so basically, it's rid of any kind of sun damage you have, whether that's like fine lines, loose skin, or just like actual like discoloration. Um, yeah, it's like the best. And it also has like a really great consistency. person who got here <laughs> she's always on time yeah and it is 6 10 i'm i'm guessing like people are gonna come i feel like i see people wait yeah i feel like there's been multiple there's someone no i went in it was just come on down i love your dress oh my god i love yours you are the pink one i really yes. love the pink one hey hello people are getting here are you wearing blue eyeliner yes I am. that's so cute Thank oh my you. god i love it okay taking down the umbrellas for the vibe. Hi. She's back from Vancouver. Do people call it Van? Van? Van City? You guys look oh, so hi. pretty. Dresses are amazing. Wait, let's do a fit check. Where is everyone's from? Princess yes. Polly. Uh, American Threads. Abercrombie. Abercrombie. I feel like you're queen of Abercrombie. Yeah. Like you always <laughs> have your dresses from Abercrombie. Cheers to an amazing event. Yes. Yay. We did it. Well, you did it, but we did it. <laughs>
Hi, Sophie. How was your night? Are you mad you didn't get invited to my event, huh? She said I talked about it, I said no. Oh, you have <laughs> options. You want a treat? You do? You want a treat? You like me now? Let's get you a treat, come on. Come on, treat. Come on. Big bits. Big bits. Can you catch it? You're on camera. Please make this. All right, well, that was definitely my fault. That means you get another treat, because you have to catch it. Ready? Oh. Okay, ready? All right, do better this time, and I'll do better. Oh yeah. That's right. Home from the event, and look how freaking bougie this is. This is probably the nicest robe I have now. G gave it to me and it's so nice and like hotel quality. This is insane. Anyways, I thought I would wear it while we take off my makeup together and talk about tonight's event. Um, literally, it was better than my dream. It was insane. Like, I just feel like, <clears throat> I, I just feel like it was a dream, honestly. Like, it didn't feel real, which is sad, but like, I mean, not that I'm really gonna compare that to my wedding night and not that my wedding night has happened yet, but what I'm trying to say is like, I just feel like events like that go by so fast. And it's like, dang, I wish I could have like really like soaked it up even more, even though like I wasn't even on my phone really at all. Um, so it's not like I wasn't trying to be present or wasn't even present because I feel like I was, but Anyways, <laughs> I feel like it was a hit. Everyone was like so shook at the setup and it was amazing seeing all my friends get to connect with new friends and new content creators and meet my personal friends and meet my boyfriend. <laughs> like that was really fun because I feel like I talk about my boyfriend a lot to, you know, my other creator friends, but they have never met him. <laughs> um, so that was nice. Also shout out to Ryan because pretty much all the B-roll that you guys saw and like all the iPhone footage that I will get sipped through was from him. So I really appreciate him taking all those photos and everything. I'm so excited to look through them. I'm gonna put them all on like a gallery link so that all my friends have those photos ASAP. Also, the lashes. I think one was falling off. Ryan was like, I think it needs to like go more in your eyelid, but I don't know. I just feel like they did make it a little more full, but like, was it that much of a difference that I would do it again? I'm not really sure. Also, like, you know, how do I peel it off? Uh, that's gonna be fun. Um, wait, I don't wanna like peel off my lash. Well, that's good that it was like glued on pretty well. Okay, I feel the corner on this one. We were sent home with a lot of leftovers. <laughs> And then we also took home some cake. So, <laughs> shall be interesting. I was kind of sad because I didn't get to eat the beignets or the cake um, because I was not feeling my best. I don't know why. Like, I just got hit with, like, mm, didn't really take a lactate pill. And I don't know, like, sometimes I just take lactate pills even if, like, I don't really think that there's dairy in that meal that we ate. But, I feel like my stomach is so sensitive these days. Anyways, TMI. <laughs> but I brought some cake home so I could try it. And sometimes I feel like refrigerated cake, dare I say, is better. But she got three cakes, which I was like, that is so extra, but I love it. <laughs> so there was a chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And Ryan, I feel like doesn't really like love strawberry stuff, but he said that one was good. And so I'm very excited to try that one because I actually do like strawberry stuff. The event overall, like I'm just so like happy that I was able to get this opportunity to even like partner up with Sunday Riley for the event. And my friends were actually asking me, do they make you like posts, like blah, blah, like were there any requirements? And I feel like like good brands know that if they don't require you to post, like you're gonna post, like you're gonna post even more than the requirements because you're just so grateful, you know what I mean? Like obviously I have so much content from the event and since I invited like so many influencers, they have content and they're probably tagging the brand too. So I think for the brand, it's just like brand awareness um, because like once you see a brand, you know, on an influencer's page, you're 
more likely to look into it more, at least for me. Like if I see a brand that someone's using I'm, and I'm at Target, for example, and I see it in the aisle, I'm like, oh, wait, that girl was talking about it. Let me just like sniff it or like, let me look at the ingredients or whatever it is. So I'm very much like that. Like I'm pretty brand loyal, especially if I like, you know, my mom was buying a detergent all of these years, then I would literally buy that detergent. Also, I switched up my hair care routine back to what I use like all of middle school and high school um, cause that's just what my mom bought. Luckily, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, that shit was not cheap and I'm like, it was just so good. Um, but I switched back to Redken All Soft and I have been really, really liking it. Um, but anyways, I feel like I'm pretty brand loyal to Red King because I used it so long for like, that was probably the longest period of time I used like a hair care brand. I thought we could do my nighttime skincare routine together, which is gonna be super simple. And it's starting off with Pink Drink, the product of the night. And um, G was telling me that she actually puts this on before she puts on any other product and that's not what I've been doing so we're gonna try that out tonight next I think I'm gonna do a moisturizer I'm going to use my plump plump hyaluronic cream from glow recipe sometimes I skip the face cream and go straight to the oil but honestly I feel like my skin needs a little bit of moisture put back into my face after wearing all of that makeup tonight and then obviously gotta end it with the best of the best I will say this stuff is pricey, but like so worth it. I'll literally put this on at night and then in the morning I wake up with like beautiful skin. I've definitely seen the difference using this stuff um, because I used to use it. I think I want to say like my first time was in college and then because it was pricey, I was like, hmm, should I just like try something else out? But then once I started using it again, I was like, oh wait, shit, <laughs> this is just so good. And like, I can't really say that about a lot of products that I can actually see like a visible difference. Do be careful because this is blue and it's literally last night I got it on my sweatshirt, um, which will probably come out in the wash. I just have not tried to wash it yet. As you can see, the blue just kind of like dissolves into the face. I don't really understand how that works, but I'm telling you guys, it's magic. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and getting to come along with me through this event. And I'm just so happy with the way it turned out. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, go ahead and do so. I'm definitely gonna post a lot of TikTok content. So if you guys wanna see more from the event, you can follow me over there. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.